1981, the Daily Mirror sponsored a British tour by the official Chinese martial arts team. And so, for the first time ever, the people of Britain were privileged to see Chinese martial arts, or Wushu, performed by the greatest masters of these ancient arts alive today. China has over 300 different martial arts forms, many with histories stretching back thousands of years. Historical records show that some Wushu exercises were performed as far back as the Shang Dynasty, over 2,000 years ago. With the invention of firearms in modern times, the role of Wushu in military affairs diminished, but its traditions and disciplines have been kept alive and the secrets of the technique pass on from family to family. 中國的三百多種不同形式的武術The most spectacular and fascinating martial arts discipline is the ability to summon up the vital force of qi in order to resist pain. This is often referred to as mind over matter. The technique is called qigong. The martial arts masters can harden or soften areas of their bodies to resist pain and produce tremendous strength. Legend has it that a Buddhist monk was dismayed by the way other monks kept falling asleep over their studies and invented physical and breathing exercises for them. These exercises were refined down the centuries and techniques developed to concentrate the vital force. These techniques have been passed on from father to son until the present day. You'll now witness some spectacular demonstrations of Yin Qi Gong. Here, Guan An Pu has to summon the vital force to his hand. Now, 
this solid granite pebble presents no problem. Here, the vital force is being summoned to the arm. Deng Pezier began learning the technique from his grandfather when he was just seven years old. These high density house bricks are here used to demonstrate what's known as iron arm kung. The towel only prevents cuts from flying splinters. This time, the vital force is concentrated into his legs. Even the performers don't really understand how the vital force works. You have to concentrate your will, they say, and then you direct the vital force to the appropriate spot. Concrete curbstone is extremely heavy and it doesn't break easily. It's placed across the shin bones. Once again, he's totally unhurt. concentrating his vital force to his head. During the Cultural Revolution, Ying Qigong was suppressed because of its ancient association with religion and mysticism. But it was kept alive in secret in the families of men like Guo, and it's been officially revived now in China. This 
，原因係呢一種氣功過去同宗教同埋迷信有關聯，但係而家中國已經正式恢復練習呢啲技術啦。Once again, a heavy curb stone is used for the demonstration. And this feat is extremely dangerous, and neglecting proper preparation could be fatal. After 30 years of experience, he can summon the vital force much more quickly than in his youth. 喺過去，佢需要更長嘅時間嚟運用佢嘅氣功，但係而家就唔得。The force from the blow doesn't damage his head, and yet the heavy slab is split in two. 隨擊嘅力量對佢嘅頭部毫無損傷，但係呢塊重石已經被佢劈成兩塊。As are all the Qigong demonstrations, and they should never be attempted by the untrained. The training is highly important, and without supervision, brain damage can result. The ancient books recommend that to train, one should drive one's head against a wall at least a hundred times a day, five days a week, for a year. But it must be stressed that without experienced supervision of a master, serious or even fatal injuries could result. 跟住呢一項表演亦係非常危險，任何冇經過訓練嘅人唔可以隨便嘗試。訓練技術亦係高度危險嘅，可能造成腦部嘅嚴重損傷。據古人傳下嘅秘訣話，鍛鍊嘅時候每日要用頭部撞喺牆壁上至少一百次，一星期五日要學足一年。但係要指出嘅就係、是，如果冇教練嘅指導，隨時係可能發生嚴重損傷意外嘅。Guo's head is sandwiched between the slabs. Guo Lukdeng's head is sandwiched between the slabs. Guo Lukdeng's head is sandwiched between the slabs. Resisting a sharp spear is another traditional way of demonstrating vital force. Deng Pezier is concentrating his vital force to his neck. 呢一支銀槍係表演氣功嘅另一種傳統方法。呢位運動員將氣功集中喺佢嘅頸部。So is his partner, Zhu Zongpu. The spear has two sharp ends, and each must know when the other is ready. 佢嘅搭檔朱宗普亦係一樣。呢一支銀槍兩頭都係尖鋭嘅，佢哋兩人都必須知道對方是否已經準備好。They begin practicing with a blunt rod, and then gradually sharpen it until they are ready to withstand the sharp spear's point. You'll find pushing even a finger into the base of your neck too painful to endure for long. They start to practice with a blunt rod, and then gradually sharpen it until they are ready to withstand the sharp spear's point. You'll find pushing even a finger into the base of your neck too painful to endure for long. They start to practice with a blunt rod, and then gradually sharpen it until they are ready to withstand the sharp spear's point. You'll find pushing even a finger into
Amazingly, they're able to break the hardwood shaft without the spear points piercing the skin. 奇怪嘅系，佢哋能够将硬木棍整断，亦唔会受到枪尖嘅损伤。Again with spears, Guo demonstrates an even more difficult feat. The force at the spear tip is many tons, and Guo has to concentrate his vital force at two spots at once. 各六灯亦要银枪嚟表演一项更惊险嘅气功，喺枪尖嘅力量系好大嘅。各六灯必须将佢嘅气功立刻集中喺两个部位。Guo explains that the next demonstration you're about to witness can sometimes go wrong, and he sometimes gets cut. Guo Lu Deng explains that the next demonstration you're about to witness can sometimes go wrong, and he sometimes gets cut. As if lying on a bed of glass isn't enough, Guo is about to become part of an amazing sandwich with Sao Ji Su and Guan An Pu. 瞓喺一堆玻璃碎片唔算得系乜嘢，但系郭六登将喺赵继书同埋关安普两人之下承受重大嘅压力。Those paving slabs are very heavy. These big slabs are very heavy. Now on top of Sao, they place three more. On Zhao Gai's head, they place three more. Another two. All in all, Guo is supporting nearly a ton in weight. 喺关安普身上再放上两百，因此郭六登要支持嘅全部重量将近一吨重。
Joe are really forceful, and Sal enthusiastically breaks the final slabs. With this demonstration, the vital force isn't concentrated on one particular spot. It's spread generally throughout the whole body. And even after all that violent pounding, Guo springs up, uncut by the glass. Sao Ji Su demonstrates here just how sharp that broadsword is. Meanwhile, Guo has concentrated his vital force in his stomach. The ancient Chinese masters said that when the vital force is concentrated in the stomach, it becomes as hard as iron. This is sometimes called bag kung, after a famous master whose bag, his stomach, was full of vital force. It needs to be. The broadsword slices through those wooden rods. Guo's stomach is marked but not cut. Sao Ji Su tells us of the time when he was only 17. One day after a training session, he went into the mountains and was attacked by a tiger. He managed to kill it with his bare hands. But the fight lasted half an hour and he still bears the hideous scars from the tiger's claws. To a man who fights tigers barehanded, razor-sharp broadswords present no problem. Although the swords have to be positioned firmly. Once the sword slipped, and Sao bears a three-inch scar to mark the occasion. Now he's concentrating his vital force in his neck, his chest, and his abdomen. A heavy curb stone is placed on his back. If you've ever cut yourself with a carving knife, you'll know how easy it is to break the skin. The sledgehammer blow forces his body down onto the razor edges of the broadsword. This is a tiger fork, a traditional fighting weapon. It's made of steel and it's very sharp. This is concentrating his vital force into his stomach. He claims that his family have been performing feats like this for over a thousand years. He began training when he was nine. He was taught by his father, his grandfather, and an uncle. He has no padding, as the audience verified. 
Only typical Chinese modesty made him wear his trousers so high. 观众可以见到，佢并冇穿着任何护身戰，唯有传统嘅中国嘅锻炼，使到佢可以练成呢一种气功。Again, the slightest loss of concentration could cause a fatal injury. 如果略有疏忽，就会造成严重嘅损伤嘅。But remarkably, he's unhurt and unmarked. 结果佢表演之后毫无损伤，毫无痕迹。Guo Ludong again demonstrates great strength using the steel rod. The rod is of the type used to reinforce concrete. Guo Lugdeng used this steel rod to demonstrate his strength. This steel rod is the type used for building concrete. Guo can turn it into a crude necklace. Guo Lugdeng can make it into a crude necklace. Difficult. Uncoil it again. 甚至仲可以将佢松开添。As our final demonstration of Yin Qi Gong, Deng Peizhe now concentrates his vital force into his chest. 最后一项硬气功系由邓佩芝表演，将佢嘅气功集中喺佢嘅胸部。This steel wire is very strong. Tremendous weights can be hung on a single strand. As thin as cheese wire, it would normally slice into an ordinary man's flesh. The wire is bound very tightly. 呢一条钢条非常坚硬，可以承受好重嘅力量。虽然唔系好粗，但系可以将人肉切断。佢將鋼條放喺身上，綁得好緊。The fourth pair of wires going on. Now, bound to the fourth pair of wires.
by concentrating his vital force, Deng can burst the wire. Tang Pu Ji vận dụng hệ cung trong còn thiếu cục thủy. One of the circles has to be tightened. If it's slack, of course, Deng can't snap it. Thể trong nhà hiên bị xoay lại cẩn. Nếu có thay sung cơ mà, cứ chẳng muốn bàn phát cục thủy lại. We'll now see other aspects of Chinese martial arts. Many of the poses and movements are thousands of years old. Some were developed for fighting, others simply to keep fit. Such movements aren't easy to achieve. Behind them lies rigorous training with the emphasis on learning through suffering. It looks graceful, but to achieve such grace, the masters say you must sweat blood, gasp for breath, and struggle against pain. Wang Donglian starts practicing martial arts at 6 o'clock each day. She's won five gold medals in all China martial arts competitions and her favorite events are sword fighting and sparring. Students have first to develop basic movements like these kicks. The foot should come as high as the forehead. 學員首先必須練習基本的動作,例如腳踢,腳尖要踢高到碰到額頭。Children begin training at 10 years old, but it takes several years before they can expect to succeed in competition. 一般學童在十歲的時候開始鍛鍊,不過要經過好幾年先能夠參加比賽成功。In ancient times, women were taught to fight and shaved their heads to disguise their sex. Many of them became fearsome warriors. Once performers have mastered these kicks and the other basic movements, they can graduate to dazzling combinations of movement, such as those seen in this rolling boxing routine performed by Chao Chengjun. One of the most visual forms of fighting is animal boxing, where fighters take their inspiration from various creatures, in this case, the praying mantis. The story goes that a famous swordsman, Wang Lang, suffered several humiliating defeats by unarmed monks. One day, whilst licking his wounds, he saw a praying mantis fighting. Wang Lang imitated the insect's movements as a fighting style. 
，最显著嘅拳术形式之一就系模仿动物嘅拳术，例如螳螂拳。This is eagle boxing. The arms imitate the wings. Such fighting styles may have begun as exercises to keep fit. 呢种系鹰爪拳，模仿鹰爪嘅动作，最初系用嚟锻炼身体嘅。Snake boxing, lithe and spectacular. This kind of is snake boxing, very lively, changing. Spirit boxing, as its title suggests, embraces all the elements of the traditional forms of boxing. 自选拳术利用一切传统嘅拳术形式，主要部分编成嘅。Demonstration by these wushu athletes is highly stylized, a combination of keep fit and clowning. Although the performer's mastery of the techniques makes them formidable opponents. These Bolo-Man-Yo-Ga综合武术表演的确多姿多彩，可以锻炼身体，亦可以表演娱乐观众。虽然呢啲表演者精通各种嘅武术，几乎难逢敌手。This form of fighting, a combination of boxing and wrestling, is called China sparring. This kind of combination of boxing and wrestling is called China sparring. This kind of combination of boxing and wrestling is called China sparring. The Wushu performers are immensely skilled with weapons too. This is a simple stave, but its length and the speed with which it's wielded, and the performer's astonishing agility, make him a formidable opponent even for a swordsman. Even in slow motion, it moves like lightning. 武术表演亦要同武器紧密嘅配合。一啲长棍嘅长度同埋表演嘅速度十分嘅重要。表演者技术高超，动作敏捷，几乎刀枪难敌。就算系慢镜头，速度亦相当嘅快。This performer is using a monkey cudgel. Stealth, cunning, balance, agility, and a keen eye are the key ingredients. And Xiong Changui, the champion of all China, has them all. This kind of performance is using a monkey cudgel. Performing is agility, agility, and cunning eyes are the basic ingredients. This athlete, Hong Changui, is one of the best in China. He is the first in China. The ancient masters had to become proficient with 18 different weapons, though there were many more. And this weapon, unusual to Western eyes, is a three-section cudgel. Three staves joined together by hooks and chains. 
，对西方人嚟讲，三节棍相当嘅新奇。据说古时候嘅武术教练必须精通十八般武器，甚至于更多。Performers in this class need to practice their routines for hours every day, often beginning before dawn. 呢一种表演每日需要锻炼好几个小时，甚至一大清早开始。所謂民雞起舞，就係呢個意思啦。Here you can see how the three-section cudgel is used for fighting. Developing routines like this can be very dangerous, and injuries are all too common. 三节棍可以用嚟作为打斗嘅武器，呢一种练习的确相当危险，经常可能发生意外损伤。Slow motion shows you just how dangerous it is. 慢镜头可以显示出佢嘅危险性。A nine-section whip. That's nine pieces of wood linked together, and this weapon is so easily concealed that it was often carried for self-defense. It's so flexible that without the red tassel, the eye couldn't follow its trajectory. When fighting, the Chinese preferred to keep the enemy at a distance using the stave, spear, and whip rather than the sword or dagger. This is a nine-sided sword, used as a weapon, mainly for defense. At the battle, to avoid the enemy's eyes. 往往係用棍、銀槍同埋鞭作為武器，而唔係用刀或者短劍。Just as women were taught to wrestle, so they were taught to use weapons in ancient China, like these swords. The ancient masters said sword play should be performed like the dragon, meaning the performer should be agile and precise in every movement. There were 16 different movements to perfect, and the modern athlete must try to incorporate them all in a routine. 喺古时候，中国妇女亦练剑术。Grace of movement is one of the vital elements in the exercise. And Li Xiaoping, gold medalist in this event, shows it to perfection. 动作嘅轻松亦十分重要。呢位运动员，麦小平，全国冠军。Well before 1000 A.D., a famous pair of swordswomen, Madame Kung Sui and Sister Li, designed this famous sword dance, a combination of wushu and dancing. 据说喺公元一千年，有一对女剑客想出呢一种剑舞。Tang Yali has two broadswords, and according to the ancient masters, exercises like these should be performed with the fierceness of a tiger. This female swordsman Tang Yali used two broadswords to demonstrate dance. The ancient masters said that to perform this kind of dance, you must be fierce and fierce. Lo Jing shows off the long-handled scimitar. An exercise like this. Was first developed in the Xin Dynasty over 1,500 years ago. This female swordsman Luo Jing performed this kind of big sword dance. It was developed in China over 1,500 years ago. These double-hooked swords require great agility of the body, together with extremely nimble footwork. This kind of sword dance needs agility and agility, and also needs to be agile. A 
spear, the favorite weapon of the ancient Chinese. They called it the king of weapons because there were 30 different movements to perfect. Li Xiaoping won the gold medal in the last all-China martial arts competition. Here we see the spear in action against an opponent with two daggers. Mixed weapon matches like this date from the Yuan dynasty in the 13th century. But many prefer to put their faith in their bare hands. And here, in this spectacularly perilous routine, an unarmed man and a swordsman face up to each other. That sword is razor sharp. The slow motion again shows the real danger of this routine. Man Gang Hao, you can see that you can see that you can Chinese preferred the spear to the sword, but sometimes the sword's man or woman would have to face several spears, like this. Wang Dongliang not only defends herself, but eventually disarms her opponents. Here's another dangerous routine. One girl with a three-section cudgel against two opponents, one armed with a sword, the other with a stave. The slow motion shows the combination of timing, speed and agility and courage that the girls have to develop. In our final demonstration, the classic confrontation, the speed and subtlety of the spear against the might of the long-handled scimitar. Today's wushu performers are the heirs to a tradition thousands of years old. Techniques were passed on from father to son down the centuries. Today, almost a hundred million Chinese actively participate. The martial arts have resumed their special place in the life of China.